Hello and welcome. I'm Ted Barley, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer here at F5. And I'm here today to talk to you about F5's Distributed Cloud Bot Defense, specifically protecting your Cloudflare CDN. If you've been following along on my series, you will notice that F5 has many connectors for our Distributed Cloud Bot Defense. I have covered F5's Big IP, Adobe Commerce Cloud, Salesforce, AWS CloudFront, and now Cloudflare. You may ask yourself, why bots? Well, in the past, we've focused a lot on web application firewalls, but bots are different. Web application firewalls are protecting you from unknown vulnerabilities, but bot protection protects you from abuse of your app's functionality that is built in. So let's jump right in. First up is configuring F5 Distributed Cloud. Switching over to the dashboard, we're going to log in. You're first going to be presented with the landing page where we're going to select Bot Defense. Bot Defense is going to come up and show you an overview of the monitoring and the events in the last five minutes. Go ahead and click Applications. We're going to add an application. While you're doing your application, give your application a name. A label if you wish. You can do a description for more details. Next up is the application region you're going to deploy in. This is going to be the US. And the last is connector type Cloudflare. Then we're going to configure Cloudflare. We're going to configure our protected endpoints, add an item, give that protected endpoint a name. JuShop is the application we're protecting, the description. Then any domain or specified domain. Here it's any domain. Then we're going to fill out the path. Could be case insensitive or case sensitive, either way. Then the methods you are protecting. Here we're going to do post and puts. And then what type of client? Could be a web client, mobile client, or both. And at the end of mitigation. There you go. That's how quick that was. We're going to apply that. Then your JavaScript insertion settings. It's the common name, where to insert it, after head tag, and the job insertion paths. Again, like prior, give it a name, give a description if you wish, give the domain matcher any or specified domain. We're just going to any for the demo. Prefix path or glob, we're going to specify the path and say log in here, apply. Uh, we could have exclude pass if we wanted. We're not. Go back, enable or disable mobile SDK and trusted clients if you're getting testing. Save and exit. It's going to deploy your application. And here's our application at the top. A filter. And by date, there's my app, the name I gave it, app ID, the description I gave it. Over on the right, we have three ellipses. We're going to download the config file, download the worker file. These files will be used in the next section when we configure the Cloudflare UI. All right, let's switch over to Cloudflare UI and log in. Once we log in, you're going to notice the dashboard shows a website I've already configured. You could add a site if you wish. We're going to scroll down to the left side and do select workers. We're going to create a worker service. It uh, supplies a name. Just pick HTTP handler and create the service. Right now, if you take a quick peek at that on quick edit, you'll notice the service is really just returning a hello world when you attach to it. So we're going to go to the website. We're going to configure our website and we're going to attach that web service or the worker service that we just did worker routes we're going to add a route it already recognizes your website you already had configured 
pick the service you just configured, what environment. We only have production here. And we're going to go ahead and save that. Now we're going to test our setup and make sure that we get what we expect. We should get Hello World. I'm going to go to the website, hit enter, and there you go. Hello World. So now we know we, our configuration is set up correctly, and now we need to go modify our workers. Go back to the main page, hit workers. Now we'll, we're going to edit that worker. And we're going to replace Hello World with the files we downloaded earlier. I already have the files open in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to copy and paste those out into Cloudflare's UI. First up is the JavaScript configuration. After the JavaScript configuration, I'm going to copy out the JSON and post that in as well. One thing to note here is when you copy in that JSON configuration, you take out the quotes. You're then going to click on Save and Deploy. It's going to tell you what worker you're going to. Save and Deploy again. In the bottom left, you'll see last deployed a few seconds ago. If you had any errors, they would show there. Now we're going to go back to the website and verify our configuration has changed. And we refresh the page. It shows Juice Shop being protected by F5 Distributed Cloud and Cloudflare CDN. And that truly shows how easily and quickly you can configure F5 Bot Defense protecting your Cloudflare CDN. We're going to log back into the UI real quick. Take a look at your Bot Defense tab. And we're going to get the overview. While I clicked around in the GUI, you're going to see the monitor traffic. And then I'm going to run a lot of automated scripts, which would be detected as bot traffic. And then we're going to switch and look at that as well. Here I've completed the run of the scripts, and you can notice the detected traffic bot traffic overview, the protected apps, the one we just protected, and this is over a five minute period. And that concludes my presentation of how to protect your Cloudflare CDN with F5's distributed cloud bot defense. I hope you found this informative and useful and look forward to you joining future videos that I 